Good morning. This is Larry Edelson for my Uncommon Wisdom Market Update for Thursday, September 2nd. Well, the action continues to be quite interesting. Let's go right to my key markets here, especially gold. Last week, I showed you that gold had the potential to hold this 1225 support level in here. And now it certainly has, and it's also climbing up just about uh, ready to test its previous record high. We're trading it uh, about 12.54 as I record this video. We need to see gold close above the 12.61, 12.62 previous record high. If we can get that, then we have a clear-cut signal that the next target will be $1,500 on gold. That's not to preclude some pullbacks along the way, but uh, I certainly believe that if we get that closing above the previous record high, we are well on our way to new record highs in gold, especially now that we're entering the autumn season for gold, which is typically a very strong seasonal uh, period for gold. We have uh, Ramadan and the Indian wedding season both of which are uh, very strong demand factors for gold during the months of September, October, and into November. Uh, we also have, of course, going in gold's favor right now, the recent word out of the Federal Reserve, particularly Ben Bernanke, that uh, as the economy worsens, he will do everything within his power to print money and take other measures to try and support the economy. Long term, as you know from my writings and other work and my videos here, it will not change the outcome of the uh, economic results. However, it will uh, uh, certainly cause financial asset inflation as he takes steps to devalue the dollar. So the gulf that you've seen, the big divide that you've seen between financial markets and the real economy can continue for quite some time and even get considerably wider uh, as the Fed takes actions that will have uh, no effect on the economy but will have an effect on financial assets. Uh, especially tangible assets, uh, tangible financial assets such as claims on natural resources, especially gold. In the meantime, we are definitely seeing uh, continued selling and deflation in virtually all other uh, assets right now as the concerns over the economy uh, continue uh, to become more severe. So let's go right now to the stock market. As you know, I've been predicting a move down to 9,000 or even lower in the Dow. We have gotten just below 9, uh, below 9,000 last week. We've seen a rally back up and then a fall back down. We're sitting on the 10,000 level now. We may see another bounce off that level in the next few days. But I have no doubt that we will take out that support level and head lower to 9,000, even 8,700 in the weeks ahead. Um, another important market we're watching very closely is the dollar. Let me pull this chart up for you. Uh, basis of the dollar index. The dollar has done exactly what I told you it would uh, in the last couple of video updates, basically in a sideways uh, trading range here. Not much upside, not much downside. It's important to note that you know when everybody talks about the dollar, they're talking about the dollar versus the euro. But those aren't the only two currencies in the world, the dollar and the euro. As a matter of fact, the dollar has fallen to a 15-year low against the Japanese yen, and the dollar is uh, at about a 13 low against the Thai bot, and all the Asian currencies are appreciating against the dollar. So the dollar's falling against almost uh, all the Asian currencies. It's only rising against the euro recently. So keep that in mind. Uh, and uh, that's a sign, in my opinion, that the dollar's long-term trend is substantially lower. There's no question about that in my mind. Uh, Short-term, we're seeing some selling in the euro as sovereign debt uh, concerns on the euro uh, sovereign debt crisis continue uh, to make a comeback, but you know again uh, investors jumping from the euro into the dollar, jumping from you know the 
uh, frying pan into the fire and uh, that's not a wise move in my opinion. It's also uh, interesting to note that gold is moving higher even as the dollar goes sideways or even as the dollar rallies against the euro. Um, that's a sign that investors, smart investors, savvy investors are choosing gold over the dollar and that's what I've been t telling you to do all along. So uh, with that in mind, uh, hold on to all the core recommended gold positions that uh, I've been telling you about. Stay away from the dollar. Stay largely away from uh, long-term U.S. Treasury bonds with the exception of the hedged bond strategy that I've told you about right now. Bernanke and uh, some investors that are buying up bonds for safety purposes continue to support the bond market at record low yields and we could see that for a little bit uh, while longer but the bond market is uh, the biggest bubble of all. Uh, I would even say that it's bigger than the real estate bubble that burst in 2007. So it's only a matter of time between the US bond before the US bond market implodes and you certainly don't want to be in that. Um, that's it till next week. Stay tuned. I have uh, a, a lot of upcoming analysis for you and certainly the markets, uh, even though we're in pre-holiday trading here, we have Labor Day coming up, the markets are getting very interesting and uh, right after the Labor Day holiday we should see some doozy uh, moves in all these markets. But do stay tuned because they are setting the stage for uh, some very interesting market action through the rest of this year. Till next week, this is Larry. Have a good weekend.